All right, today we're doing a video on quaking aspen. Um, the way you can tell this aspen from other aspens is uh, the leaf here is a deltoid shape. The margin um, is smooth, but it's it's a uh, it can be serrate, which just means like a little sharp there, so you can kind of see it. Um, but this one's a little bit more smooth. But the petiole here, right here, is flat, and that catches the wind and makes this thing quake or shake in the wind, and that's why it's called quaking aspen, this flat petiole here. You can't roll it in between your fingers very easily, um, so that's how you can tell. Uh, bark is usually smoother, um, becoming more rigid or rugged with fissures and stuff uh, when it gets older. This one's pretty young still. Um, another cool fact about this tree is the uh, smaller stuff has this white powder on it, and that actually acts as a sunscreen for this tree, so I think it sun scalded as much um but yeah grows up nice and tall um some of them are wide spreading it's a weaker wood it's a lighter color wood on the inside you can kind of see some of it here um, lighter color is not really much heartwood change you can't really see distinctive rings very well uh, for the most part um so it's it, and it's also not really a good firewood so we won't be using it for processing but um, that's what it is. Cottonwoods, big tooth aspen, they're all in a very similar uh, wood type structure, similar bark as well.